Financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, let YouTube add and stuff. So you get the videos, I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see man, last night data, but I got to tell you every day. The day they release us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative to the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, according to Huckleberry Holt and Thomas James, a majority of FINRA's retirement fund is with Vanguard and BlackRock. Now, I see that as such a crazy conflict of interest that is actually next level. I don't see how our politicians, our government agencies could allow something like this to happen. I want you to think about this for a second. FINRA's future, the, the future of the employees and the employees' families is sitting in the hand of Vanguard and BlackRock. Vanguard allegedly holds $2 billion of FINRA's retirement funds. BlackRock allegedly owns holds $64.4 million of FINRA's retirement fund, their pension fund. So if FINRA is in charge or supervising any type of investigation into wrongdoing at Vanguard or BlackRock, and they know that if they find any improprieties or evidence of criminal behavior, their whole pension fund could be wiped out their family's future could be wiped out. What is the likelihood of FINRA finding fraud and malfeasance with Vanguard and BlackRock? Highly unlikely. This is such a major conflict of interest that FINRA, which they say they're not a government agency, but they're a government agency. They're a government agency. To be compromised like this to have their money, their financial, their, 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 their retirement fund tied up with Vanguard and BlackRock like that. It's absolutely outrageous. It's definitely a conflict of interest. And, and this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. This is why FINRA did what they did with MMTLP. Okay? This is why they allowed these bad actors to screw over MMTLP because they had their own private interest in the outcome because they wanted to save their pension funds. It's absolutely outrageous and scary. Anyway, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that FINRA should have their retirement fund tied up in companies that they might be forced to investigate for malfeasance? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.